Good afternoon, everyone. Hank Foley, president of NYIT. I'm sitting here this afternoon with Suzanne Musho, our vice president for real estate uh, and um, sustainable capital planning. Fantastic, great. I'm sitting in Anna Rubin Hall, but I wouldn't know I'm in Anna Rubin Hall. It just doesn't feel the same, and I'm amazed. So, Suzanne, we want to talk about that, and we want to understand what's happened here, and, and it just looks so different and feels so much better. I can't help but think that this really is a perfect example of the kind of thing we need to do to improve the student experience, which is at the heart of our strategy at New York Tech. I think it's not just the way it looks, but there's much more to it than just a paint job, isn't there? There is. Anna Rubin is, is kind of Anna Rubin part do, you know. It's uh, been completely transformed. And uh, when we started looking at the buildings throughout the campus, um, mm -hmm. when, uh, when the pandemic hit, and making sure that we were developing safe, safe spaces for students and faculty and staff, um, different buildings had different needs. And so some buildings we were able to just very easily replace filters and um, do some other uh, equipment changes. Here we had a different type of opportunity. Here we had to um, really kind of reinvent how the classrooms and the hallways and the spaces um, climactically responded um, to occupancy. Well, it's great. We have architecture going along with our ideas around the growth mindset, which is just wonderful. Should we get up and walk around and yeah. look at some of the space? Oh, wow. What a difference. This looks so incredibly different than the way it used to look in here. I'm amazed. I love the color. Oh, good. I love the desks <laughs> and so forth. But there's so much technology in here. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? that yeah, the, the, so with the renovation of Anna Rubin, all of the classrooms were renovated, but uh -huh. there's four experimental classrooms that allow for a response to different teaching methodologies. So as we kind of want to perhaps add additional screen walls and things yeah. like that, we can respond to that with the open ceilings. So the open ceilings certainly do give a much more kind of mm -hmm. um, expansive feeling of space. and. So yeah, no more of that claustrophobic <laughs> feeling. Yeah, that's right. The um, we also have it outfitted with um, an acoustical material that allows for the appropriate reverberation okay. and good filming, for instance. So yep. there's lecture capture, um, there is zoom capability, and then also all of the students. And that's all controlled so, over here. Yeah. So this is the teacher podium. And a lot of this work had been done prior to, you know, just to open for COVID. And so we just kind of just gave it a little bit more of a boost with this renovation. But the professor is um, able to be tracked by the camera. And so they can be seen through Zoom. And then there's a good experience at home for the yeah, student. Yeah. This color is wonderful. And it makes it so much brighter in these rooms. It's incredible. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, as you, as you know, light likes to reflect and it reflects yeah. better off of lighter materials. And so the selection of the color for the brick, we went through about eight or nine different samples and we made a final selection on this one. The flooring is a material that has about 80% recycled content. Um, so this flooring was a really um, great complement to the paint on the walls as well. Fantastic. I love this. Shall we go on? Yeah, let's go to the next. Yeah, so this is the new uh, fully insulated return and supply ductwork that brings um, fresh air and ventilation into each of the classrooms and also the hallway. And we also have carbon dioxide monitors in each of the classrooms as well that will help modulate the, um, the fresh air delivery that will also save energy, but also it increases concentration sure. and awareness in the classroom. So it really helps the classroom experience as well. Yeah, and, and I see some really cool technology up here. Maybe you could tell us about some of this. Yeah, so this is kind of our spine that we call. Mm -hmm. And so what you're seeing there, the square, is actually a new wireless access point. So that allows you to have full coverage of Wi-Fi in the entire building. And then also we have occupancy sensors, so all the lights will remain on unless it doesn't detect occupancy, and then the lights will go off. And all of the lights are LED lights, um, kind of state-of-the-art LED yeah. lights, so they're yeah. really, really high lumen output, 
low energy output. And then we also have the hands-free automatic door openers. That's not only for that's this. yeah, that's not only for COVID, but it's also for handicap accessibility. So how does that work? So you literally just wave your hand, oh and my the gosh. door opens. So you don't even have to touch anything anymore. Star Trek. And there is the ladies' bathroom. It looks so bright and clean. Quite a difference. The sense of optimism permeates everywhere. Good. <laughs> That's what we want. That's what we want. All right. Fantastic. And so here what we have really kind of developed a wider entry here so that you really have that direct relationship with the outside because we really are focusing on outdoor spaces for the students as well. So you can see the inside-outside relationship much better. And the same is with the lounge. It had the yeah. same kind of sense. So. Oh, it's wonderful. I really hope the students will uh, we'll love this. Yeah, I think, I mean, we have heard in the Campus Experience Committee that they want spaces to be, they want places to hang out, right. they want to um, really have an opportunity to kind of just have a variety of experiences during the day so they don't yeah. have to be in their cars, they can yeah. come here for the full day. So. so what's great about this building is that Salton is going to have the new cafe. Right. They can go pick up a sandwich. They can come here and sit in the lounge and have a sandwich, yep. or they could just eat outside in the courtyard. Sure. Um, Man, what a change. What a change. This is really terrific. This is just sort of emblematic of what we want to do throughout the campus, which is make every building um, really all about the students and all about the experience. Oh, this is a great start. Suzanne, <laughs> thank you very much. Good. I'm thrilled.